Good morning, good morning, good morning. Guess what? Today we're gonna do a little uh, little cooking vid. I don't know how it's gonna turn out exactly, but I'm hungry, that's all I do know. And when you're hungry, the good thing about when you're hungry is that if you cook something that didn't turn out so great, it still tastes pretty good. So here's the deal. I'm gonna cook with scraps, okay? We're gonna call this a scrap breakfast. We're gonna do like, maybe like a quiche thing, right? With a little muffin pan with little things and some eggs. I know I've got a few eggs. I know I've got a little sausage. We gotta go see what else we have. We're just gonna come up with something and I want you guys to help me come up with a name for this. So you ready to go scrap it up? Let's go. For lunch and dinner, you see me cook uh, with Traeger for ribs, briskets. We're gonna do breakfast. We're gonna do breakfast. So let's see what I can find in this refrigerator. Check out all these pictures. Here's all my kids, yeah. Because this is my kitchen. This isn't some magnificent studio, right? Yeah, here we go. Mm. Ooh, there's a pepper. And an onion. Hmm. Yes. That'll work. That will work. Onion. Some green pepper in here. Again, not a lot. Not a lot of green pepper. A little hot. Mix it together. swig. That's how much a swig is. I don't do measurements. Not that much. We don't need a lot of salt because we have the sausage. How much of this? I don't really know. We'll just put a little bit. Now, let's add in this, which is our sausage and our onion. I'll try to get eight of these. So that's three. Pretty good. Okay, I got eight of them. So look what I did. Fill up eight of them. Now, if I'd have had a dozen eggs, I would have went ahead and did the whole thing. Need a little room for it to rise. So that's it. Help me come up with a name for this. I have no idea. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you would call this or what I should add it into it. That's pretty much all I had in the. Uh, pretty much all I had in the refrigerator. We have some bacon. I just didn't really feel like bacon this morning. It's more of a quick thing, right? So if I didn't, if I wanted to plan it out and I wasn't worried about how long it took, then I would go to the store and I'd buy spinach and I'd buy all kind of stuff and I'd make them properly. And I could call them like everybody else calls them. But I didn't want to do that today because today was just a quick little breakfast, a quick little deal to hang out with you guys. Now it's time to turn this puppy on. And, um, and that's it. So we're going to let this thing warm up to about 350. Put them in the Traeger. Bam. Let's see what happens. Yeah. 355. Let's do Traeger. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you think, Bader? You think our little. Our little 
breakfast. Whatever quiche dish is gonna be good, you can even have one. Yeah. Tell everybody hello. This is Baylor, guys. This is Baylor. Baylor's smart. Watch. Baylor, sit. 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 Good boy. Shake. Shake. Good boy. Yeah. You go, boy. Yes, you are. All right, we're going to wait about 10 minutes or so. Wait until the tops of those, you know, it's egg, obviously, so you don't want to kick them too long, but you can kind of tell. 10, 11 minutes, 350. Then we will know if it's any good. All right, this trigger here is the Timberline 850. Of course, they have the brand new ones, the Ironwoods, which are awesome. Uh, I have a 34 over here, which is just the standard one that they've had forever, which is just the 34, I think they call it the Pro. That's a 34 inch going surface. This one here, I don't know the exact length, but it's an 850, it's Wi-Fi. The Ironwood's a brand new one, and it's, it's upgraded from this one. So uh, that's the one I'm waiting on right now. I'm actually waiting on the Ironwood to show up here. And uh, it's been good. And I'll tell you what, guys. Every single person that asks me about a grill, they ask me about a Traeger, they end up getting one, and they just rave about it. They literally call me up and go, dude, this was such a great investment. Cooking on it all the time. So if any of y'all are thinking about a great gift, uh, you need a new grill. Look, there's a lot of options out there, but I'm just telling you, Traeger is the real deal. Check them out. We're going to drop a link down below as well. And um, about another eight minutes for truth. How many of y'all saw this sitting in the background? Check this out. This is a big piece of oak, okay? And I actually got this in Mexico. And when we are in Mexico, the locals, when they cook at the taco stands, they put the meat right here, they have their big cleaver, and they just keep chopping the meat up. And they season it, and chop it, season it, and chop it, and all that oil from the meat gets in here, and it's just good. It's just good. So I have it. I got one now. So we do tacos. Oh yeah, they're getting there. They look good. All right, let's check them one more time. They look really good. I just hope they taste good. Because if not, we're going to have to go to McDonald's or something and get a burrito. But I think it's going to be okay. Baylor, where'd you go, buddy? Baylor! I think he even left. There he is. Look. He's peeking out the door. Baylor! Alright. Moment of truth. Southwest, whatever, quiche. Yeah. What you think, baby? Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna let this cool for just a minute. Oh yeah. They look good. <laughs> All right. Feels right. It was a little longer than 10 minutes, too. Just kind of had to watch it.
No, that's super good. Yes. That is a winner. And actually, that Cholula has a nice little flavor in it. It's not hot. It's not hot at all. That Cholula and the green pepper, the sausage, all that ties it together. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the Cholula is not hot. So, I don't like hot stuff. I'm not a big Tabasco fan. Cholula has just a nice flavor. So, these right here, whatever we're going to call them, Southwest, whatever, quiche things, they turned out good. Thank you, Traeger. Thank y'all for hanging out. Yeah. So, that's it. I got to go give Baylor a little bite. And, uh, I don't know, a little Traeger. A little Traeger Tuesday for you. We'll see you. Thanks, guys.